guys, it's Mika Coleman here at Tax Deed and Overage Education. And today I want to talk about what are the rules to overages. I just, I've been learning stuff all day, y'all. So today I learned that there's state rules and then there's county rules. And so what I'd like to talk about is the rules to overages. I, I did not know this. I guess I did know it, but I didn't know it on the terms of like, um, rules as far as the state level and the county level. So as you guys know, I am doing a mastermind cohort, which I think I learned the most, right? Because I don't like to work um, the counties that I personally work in my mastermind. I like to work other counties, which makes me like explore, you know, the 3,000 and something odd counties that's in the United States. Uh, it just gives me a way to you know, expand my knowledge and learn new things and learn more about, you know, different counties. And I do that specifically because it's like I'm taking myself on the journey as, I don't want to stay as a student, but as a newbie or a new person learning a new county. And uh, the county that I'm going to do in January, I'm actually going to execute some before. That's why I switched it from December to January because I want to see the process prior to my students doing it because when I tell you guys, it's like super easy. I, I honestly, I keep like wanting to like slap myself and be like, is this real? Like, what have I been doing all this time? So anyway, that's a whole nother story. So I'm actually pushing it back to January 9th because I myself want to walk myself through the process and actually file some claims on my own because there is a plethora of, for everyone. So that's one of the main reasons why I do it. I think that, you know, a lot of people don't have the time. Um, to do the research uh, that I did. I was just explaining to someone um, earlier um, with my course, you know, I do have a software and it took me literally, I timed myself, it took me six minutes to get 10 lists. But out of those lists, they weren't good enough for what I would want for my mastermind. So this morning, it took me a whole hour to actually get five lists. So you guys can see the difference when you have like a tool or a resource um, that possibly uh, could work. It's just, it costs money, but it saves you time. But that's a whole nother thing. Today, I wanna talk about um, the, oh, there's rules to overages. So uh, as you guys know, I'm looking at all these different counties. So I like have, to, I go deep. I like, I, you know, I want to know the statutes. I want to know the limitation, the redemption. I want to know everything that I could possibly know before I teach you guys or whoever wants to be a part of the mastermind of the cohort. Uh, so I want to get all the information anyway. I learned something today. Again, uh, it's about uh, the rules to overages. So I was looking at this claim form and I think it's really important, you guys, don't be afraid to ask questions. It's never, um, there's never a dumb question, right? So I was looking at this claim form and it said 90 days and I was like, um, so I was looking on your website and it said four years. And so that's what I just learned today, you guys. So there are rules to uh, state level and county level. So some of the counties will have like on the form. And I'm telling you this because uh, I, I think I did do a video and I guess that's the difference. Like um, Florida, if you look at all of Florida's claim forms, they say 120 days. That's the county rules. But the state rule is you have a year. So needless to say, I learned that today. I was like, oh, so there's rules to this. Like, you know, there's actually, I wouldn't even say rules. There's like workarounds. So even though um, that claim form says like 120 days or 90 days, uh, what the difference is, is that if you file that claim within the county and it's left the county, then you have to go to the controllers. So the state holds the funds for you. So the process is a little bit different, but I, I'm here to tell you guys, I've done it, um, tried to and tested. Uh, matter of fact, one of my students actually did the claimant and we were like partnering. And I normally, if, you, if we're partnering, um, I am kind of taking it on and filing it for you because I want success. So if you have a full-time job, that is my full-time job is to call the county. It's like, hello, where's our check? Uh, did you get the paperwork? So I do all of that. And needless to say, uh, one of my students had found a, a claimant. It was way past the 90 days, right? Or the 120 days because this was in Florida. Um, and I was like, hey, let's just try it. And we did. And I didn't have to do that extra step. They just sent it to the state. And even though it was past the 120 days, 
my student and I both won that claimant uh, because of the state rules. So I wanted to just let you guys know that there are rules to this, or should I say workarounds, and don't be afraid, like just ask questions. And I'm here to tell you that I don't know everything, okay? Like I haven't done 3,000 counties. I will not do 3,000 counties, but I have a pretty solid list <laughs> and um, about like, of all the counties and I'm actually learning like today was like I don't know it was like an epiphany like I can't even explain it because I was just researching a state that I just would have never thought I didn't even think about it just so happened the tool or the resource I use it makes you want to kind of dig in and just be like hey what about this county what about this county and what about this county it's like counties that I would not even think about and I came across this county in this state and i would have never worked this state never but now it's gonna be my state for 2024 so <laughs> i probably said this on another video um those people that are in my mastermind um i pray to god that we like we could eat off of that all year and i actually went to another state so i'm actually going to plan out i'm only going to do four masterminds in 2024 because i've had so many different companies um, contact me to come work for them and I haven't sold out yet <laughs> but I'm thinking about partnering with someone so that means that I won't be offering these uh, masterminds or these courses anymore because I will completely go and partner with a bigger larger company which is going to charge you like 10 times more anyway that's a whole nother story I just wanted you guys to get from this video that don't get discouraged when you see the claim forms call get clarity ask questions because there are rules there's county rules and then there's state rules so um that's the whole point of what i wanted to talk about on this video i know i rambled on a little bit but i just wanted you guys to know that just because the claim form says one thing you also want to check the state rules so there's county rules and then there's state rules so that was the whole point of this video i hope it helps uh happy investing and you guys like come on like people are losing their jobs and i'm like you can replace your income with one of these overages and so it is my mission that's why i said i'm gonna plan out four i don't the reason why I don't do masterminds often is because I got to do a lot of lead work. Like literally I spent <laughs> four hours today, um, on like five lists. I'm probably only going to do three. Uh, so it's a lot of work that I have to put into it. So that's why I don't oftentimes do it. And then I get upset when half the students don't want to do the work. It's like, I did all of this work for you. So anyway, um, for those that are interested, January 9th, it is limited because I like to keep it intimate and I like to like, I really want you to learn. It is really hands on because that's how I learn. So I'm offering that to you. I don't think any of my competitors are doing that. I, I have not seen yet one mastermind where they're actually giving you the list, assigning you claimants and you're learning and earning at the same time. I don't know. Let me know because I would like to know who my competition is so I can make mine better. But I've done my research and I don't see any of my competitors doing that. Um, they do have forums. People are on Facebook. I'm more like an intimate setting. I, I like action. I don't like to just talk about it. I like to be about it. So um, if you're interested and you want to do a mastermind with me hands on January 9th, click the link below and sign up and I will see you on January 9th and I'll be I'm so excited because guess what? You guys, this list don't have any redemption period. So we could we could go at this all year. I'm not going to be doing it for my four. So it's only going to be for January 9th because I want to I want to get at least five testimonials, y'all. So like I need somebody that's willing to work. So if you're not willing to work and actually find your own claimants that I'm going to assign to you, then don't sign up. Please don't. But anyway, happy investing. And I look forward to you joining me on January 9th for my mastermind. Happy investing, you guys.